The History of the Flu Introduction Welcome to the History of the Flute series, brought to you by the Flute Angel YouTube channel. In this series, we are going to cover the entire history of the flute from 43,000 years ago through antiquity and finally to the 20th century. This video series is meant to be enjoyed by all flutists or other curious people. While the subject matter at hand is quite complicated, I have tried my best to present the flute's history in an easily understood manner without missing any key details. So no matter if you're in high school or even an orchestral musician, it is my hope that you will find this series useful in some way. So to start, what do we mean when we say flute? If you Google the word flute, you'll probably see something like this. The thing is, this metal flute made by Theobald Boehm wasn't even invented until 1847, and it isn't like all flutists all around the world started playing the metal Boehm flute right after it was invented. This means that J.S. Bach, Beethoven, and many others didn't even know this instrument is the flute. J.S. Bach probably knew this is the flute, and the keys really start taking shape by the time we get to the flute Beethoven knew. It isn't until after World War II that the Bohm flute became the norm. Another problem arises with the word flute because composers and other sources perhaps didn't write for specific instruments, or if they did write flute, it could have meant recorders, panpipes, duct flute, whistles, military fifes, or even something else. Additionally, as flutists, we have the longest history of any instrument besides the percussionists. The flute remains one of the most diverse instruments in playing style, making it seriously awesome, but makes the history of its performance rather murky. And that assumes we still have flutes in existence from a given time. So if we take all this into account, we can tell the flute's history is like Swiss cheese. There are some holes, but throughout human history, almost always a culture of some kind of flute playing was going on. We also will be focusing on the development of the flute in the Western culture in this series. While many non-Western aspects may be brought up, these aspects have been deemed notable and have had some significance in understanding this instrument. With all that said, thank you for watching and please enjoy.